Hello. And welcome back to Not A Watch Snob. I am your host, Bill. And today, I want you to hit that subscribe button and tickle that like Woo-hoo. button because you are about to experience something great. The year was 1982. Pity the food. Hair bands, fashion trends, and cocaine were all the rage. Bueller. MTV played music and not that douchebag Rob Dietrich. Life was rad. Culture was strong and technology was advancing. And that's when Casio created these. A nifty little gadget that somehow became an icon. Ooh, yeah. However, calculator watches were nothing new. They've been around since the mid-70s with Pulsar and Hewlett-Packard. Anyone in the comments section want to guess what Hewlett-Packard is? It's HP computers, that's right, you uh, just learned something new today. And uh, so did I. You uncultured swine! However, Casio made them cool. From celebrities, to movies, to that kid in junior high, the Casio calculator watch becomes an unlikely icon of the decade. See, for the first time ever, Casio made the technology readily available. Prior to that, calculator watches of the mid-70s cost an arm and a leg, and they were made of solid gold. And $2,000 was just way too much to ask for. So Casio created a watch that was easy to mass produce, therefore kickstarting this quirky little trend. And then the mid-90s came. and the calculator watch started to fade. Now make it a comeback, this small, goofy little tool watch is creating nostalgia-filled happiness for collectors everywhere. Not only is it stylish, but it's quirky and somewhat practically fun. The specs of this watch are as follows. This watch does it all. It can store the names, numbers, and contacts of up to 12 people. Its LED screen is equipped with a light. The 8-digit calculator can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. There's a second time zone, a stopwatch, a 24-hour split time, five alarms where you can even set them up months or even years in advance, a calendar, a date, a day, a year, multiple languages to help you store data. (gasps) And the specs of this watch are as follows. The case diameter is 44 millimeters. The case thickness is 8.5 millimeters. The band material is stainless steel. The band size is standard. Huh? The band width is 18 millimeters. The model number is DCB611. I'm not even gonna, I'm, I'm done, I'm done with this. The pros and cons of this watch are as follows. Pro. I like the look of the gold watch. I think it kind of pays homage to the calculator watches of the past, like the Hewlett Packard and the Pulsar. And I think I can honestly say that uh, this watch is kind of stylish and it's definitely an attention grabber. Con. I honestly can't think of many cons. I really enjoyed the toolless strap adjuster. I enjoyed the functionality. I enjoyed the style. I mean, for $74 on Amazon, you really can't go wrong with what this watch has to offer you. It's luxurious. No, it's practical. Well, in the days of smartphone, no, not really. But it's iconic. And you get a lot of enjoyment out of wearing it. Um, Not only is it practical, but uh, the only thing I really can find that I do not like on this watch is the light function. It just kind of lights up mm, like a quarter of the screen and I mean yeah I can read the time but it just I wish they did a little bit more with that but no seriously it's not a bad buy at all like I said for $74 you get the best of everything Um, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great conversations and remember my name is Bill and I am not a watch snob I'll see you later